Hi. <clears throat> Shit's weird, you know. Stuff's weird. So, my ex is coming to get his RV. Because I wasn't giving him the energy he wanted. Which I don't... I don't have to understand it. It's fine. No, I actually understand it. I actually understand it all too well and why it's happened, but I'm tired of making community with guys or men or whatever, because as soon as you decide not to like, I don't know, as soon as you there's too much weight, you know, when it's a community, everyone takes care of each other and there's no like, you have to be this for me, you know? It's like, be yourself, be yourself. I love you, I see you, I get you, be yourself. Authentically, there's no weight on anything, just be you and whatever you can bring to the table, awesome. And it feels good, it feels good to be a part of something, be a part of something, be, Somebody that can bring just something to the table. Me, it's art, maybe. I don't know. I actually haven't been doing very much art. I feel fucking dirty. I haven't showered in days. I feel like I'm going crazy and I'm having a hard time with, like, I've been making friends, but everyone's like, you can't trust people. You can't trust people. So, like, how am I supposed to trust that these people that are being my friends are authentically my friends and then what it really comes down to is that I'm afraid to have the things that make me happy in this world taken from me but then I realize that I am what makes me happy in this world no matter what you know and it's okay feelings sad feelings even if they're sad like those actually make me happy too like could you imagine going through life and never having to feel sadness anyway this is my new home V's coming to get his RV so I'm moving shit over and I've got this tiny puppy just turned four weeks old I haven't been getting sleep. I haven't showered. I haven't been showering. I don't know what's wrong with me. My road dog is like, in order for me to be able to like do the things I want to do, I can't have you around because I think he wants to go like maybe swoon someone else or something because I don't think that I'm capable of giving him what he wants. And I kind of saw that like, Feelings were building, 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 and then I felt the fire, and then we slept together, and now I'm just, like, freaked out to even hang out with them, because I'm like, uh, what if I'm not giving them what they want, because we already broke that barrier once, and really what I need is someone to fucking hang out with me, <laughs> make me feel like... I'm valued for more than my blowjob or my vagina. And that's not hard to find, but it's what I'm used to. And I don't want to be codependent anymore. I'm like fearful of being codependent so much so that I'm just like, fuck, I can't rely on other people, but I want to so bad because I know people can rely on me. And so I'm like, I want a community. I don't want to just have one person be my community. I don't want just one road dog. I want a fucking road community, you know, like people that I travel with and trust and we all care about each other's well-being and happiness and, and we make good decisions for ourselves, cracker. Because it's important. It's important to make good decisions for yourself so that you can be everything you want to be and I want to be there for people and I have a really hard time with sex I just got out of an insane 
fucking relationship in July. I'm not ready for anything like that. I'm not. Like, I'm barely even ready to fucking cuddle with somebody. So I'm just like, how would I even begin to be with a partner that needs more for me than I am ready? Like, I want to be capable of that, but I'm actually not ready. Like, and I just have to accept that about myself. I want to be. I'm just not. Too many things, too many triggers. And you can't bring your fucking bullshit into the next relationship so in order for me to actually have an authentically good relationship I've got to get over the things I've got to get over myself myself because I'm the one that has to deal with them so I'm the one that must deal with these issues that I have and then once I no longer think of them once not they're no longer a trigger then I can actually be in an authentically satisfying relationship where if you do have expectations they are actually met and if not then there's boundaries that have been put up so then that there are expectations that aren't going to be met and I feel like I just rush into these relationships because I'm like oh this must be love this must be love it feels good well I need to recognize what the difference is between love and infatuation like as a human being we all need to know what that is like is it my hormones Am I fucking horny for this person? Do I want to have their babies? Is that what it is? Is it that they bought me something delicious and maybe it had an aphrodisiac in it? Maybe that's why I think I'm in love with them because I'm fucking horny as shit. And then they bought me food or alcohol like that makes you feel that way all warm and fuzzy inside. Like all these things we confuse with love, like all these things we confuse with feelings of a lasting deep meaningful relationship I think need to they need to be looked at they need to be evaluated because I'm in it to win it I want to ride or die I want something authentic and it's not going to take an instant to develop it's going to take a long time to develop and I know that about myself and anyone who has the patience and is willing to do this with me might be a year might be two years I'm not in any hurry. I'm so fucking patient for what I'm actually desiring that I'll wait. I'm not desperate. I don't need someone to suck my dick or my tits. Like, I'm solid. I'm good. I don't need anything like that. You know, I need community. That's what I want. Solid community. I know you're out there. And I've been meeting a lot of you. And there hasn't been expectations. And the gifts you've brought me have been exponentially just phenomenal for my soul, for my heart space. And I'm sorry if my lack in confidence or self-worth sometimes keeps me from doing the same. But I am trying. And I know I'm going to get better and I love you all, I love you all tremendously for all that you've brought to me. I see negative experiences actually as a good experience. I don't know if you know that, but like even negative experiences, I can look back and be like, I did this in that experience and I got to choose who I was. Even when the experience was a negative experience, I got to decide who the fuck I was. I got to see how strong I could be in an intense situation. And I still stand firm in my truth. I know my truth and I stand firm in it. 